Yo, what is going on guys? It is Midnight bringing you yet again another video. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about something different and playing something different rather than Mass for the Dead. So in today's video we're playing a game called Fairytale Forces Unleashed um, or it might even be Fairytale Unleashed Forces, I'm not sure, like it's really weird. But yeah, regardless it's a fairytale game, it's a kind of a gacha game I would say. I wouldn't say dedicated gacha game but it is kind of like that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. Now in today's video we're kind of going to be talking about the um, power rating and how to increase that. Just a few different ways because this video would be long otherwise there's so many different ways to gain power in this game. And a lot of people have been asking me in the guild that I'm in um, how to gain the power. If you are interested in playing this game, um, I'll leave links in the description to the Apple and the App Store for Google. Um, I'm in the UK and I couldn't download it on my phone so it might be region locked in certain regions but this is a global game now it was in Chinese version only but now it's global as well so yeah if you want to check it out you can I'll leave a link in the description now to get things started there are two types of power ratings in the game there is overall power and then there is character power now character power is quite literally your main character's power rating so this is the character that you pick at the start of the game, your class. The overall power will be that power rating plus your pet rating. So your power that your pet will have. Now these two combined will give you that one there. Um, now what we're going to do today is kind of talk about the different types of powers and how to get those. Now I'm just going to start by talking about the character themselves. If you would like to see how to gain any power, click on improve up here and it will tell you what things you can do to increase that power. Usually it will highlight red when you do have something um, like the materials to actually increase that. But here are a few things that I like to do, um, making sure that my power is increased the maximum as I can. So for starting off with equipment, actually let me go to inventory. For starting off for equipment, I make sure to equip all my gear with purple and above. Um, I think going for gold on everything is a bit costly considering the fact that you every 10 levels you're changing this. Now some gear you will get for free. That is actually pretty good. So if you log in for 7 and 9 days, yeah, 7 and 9 days you'll get a purple ring and a purple set of body armor which is level 70 gear but you can equip it at level 65 as you can see up here at the top. That alone will give you a huge power boost as you're equipping something that is 10 times the level or 5 times the level, um, 5 levels higher sorry not 5 times the level that'd be crazy. Um, so yeah you can let increase um, your power by doing that by just putting those two bits of gear on when you hit level 65. Um, alternatively if you are paying in game and go to benefits here I think it is wizard calendar no monthly investment top up quest it was already there um, when you hit $30 you'll be able to get equipment here level 70 mythic weapon that can be worn at level 60 which is this weapon here so yeah you'll get one for your own specific class so those three things there alone are very good now to get equipment you can just do the normal story or you can go to the forge here and you can craft them now crafting them, you'll have to put in here um, level 60 gear, level 50, 70, whatever the power still is here. Then your blueprint would have to be the equal as the power still. And your mold would also have to be equal to all three of those. And let's say I had this here, power still was level 60. I only have a level 71 equipped at the minute. Um, you'll craft a level 60 weapon and it will either be blue, purple or orange. Obviously the higher the stats, the higher the rarity. So. To increase that chance, you can get cores just by doing daily missions and daily logins. Or if you want to use stones like gems, you can use 20 gems to get one. And for me, right now, it costs four, and you have a higher chance of getting purple and orange gear. I recommend to use those if you do have them. Now, that's just the equipment right there. Another thing is your gems. Now, gems, what I like to do is like keep them to the maximum level that I can possibly have. So for example at the top right it will tell you, so for this weapon from the top up and the ring and the body armor, you can wear level 80 gear, uh, a level 8 uh, stone sorry, which usually you can only get when you're level 80. Other gems you can only use up to that level, so if this headpiece was level 70 I could equip level 70 gems, however it's only level 60 so I can only equip level 6. Obviously the higher the gem the more power you have. 
to get better gems you can just do the story mode um, and you'll be given some or top up you'll get a few um, alternatively if you're free to play another good way obviously doing these two missions here um, you can buy them with silver and you can get level one two and three stones you can buy 20 of each uh, of any stone you want um, however it is very costly for me to get one level eight rune it cost me 17 million silver which is a lot of money in game just for one rune um, which is like a total of I don't know let me, let me actually see what the equivalent of that power rating is because it was one of these so let's pop that back on 209 power just for 17 million silver it's crazy um, that's all for equipment these epitas here um, I'll kind of briefly go over I won't really go through how to get them but when you do get them you want to make sure you're focusing on one main stat with your character so for me it's physical attack so I run four blue, uh, red ones and I use two green ones just for a bit more defense um, and then you can use more red ones to level up your current epitaph um, which is mine is tornado as you level up you get an increase in stats so I get 28 up to 40 physical attack um, which will then obviously uh, give me more power and more damage now these give you good power you can put it on your weapon because when you swap weapons it will automatically move over to the next weapon so it's perfectly fine I haven't unlocked the last two parts here so that's equipment um, one more thing I'll go through is pets now with your pets there's a few things that you need to take note of uh, one is you can only use one pet at any given time if the pet does die you can summon another one in game however you always have one pet as your starting 1v1 if that makes sense when you're in a fight against someone now with the pets there's a few things you got to remember so there's four pets you can have here that well I use four um, because your power rating if I come here uh, let's see is this me yeah so my magic beast rating is 9150 or 49 um, that is from four pets added up which would be these four and then you'll have wait that is it right could be wrong technical difficulty is it no it is right I'm just losing my mind so yeah that's that's all four of those pets added up you'll get around about that much there um, you only get power from your first four sets of pet to increase that power you will need to go to develop and you will need to have as many skills here as you can now leveling up the beast does not actually give you any power which is this XP here this doesn't actually give you any power as I'll show you here so 185 or 1850 use one I leveled up to 14 I got nothing so the only reason why you level up is to get increased the pets actual damage and stats for when you use it in the match but just having four pets in your inventory with four skills will increase your power significantly make sure they're passive skills they give you more rating um, obviously if your growth is higher here you also have a higher increase in your stats um, now to learn skills there's two ways you can either one use these devil spirit droughts um, which cost is very costly like very costly you can use seven and then you can put in one of these books to gain another skill which I don't do um, what I do is I just go to develop uh, and I just click reset down here and what it will do is it will use up this currency down here which will then reset the pet skills and if you, you have a chance to get a maximum of four skills on some pets um, this one getting all four you will then get more rating now this pet here is something that not many people really know about like the way to get this pet uh, it's pretty easy if you come to collection down here and uh, click on this one you can purchase it at the shop um, the level 85 pets you can purchase these at the shop now the one that gives you the most power is this one the stealthy burglar so having three of them or even four of them in your inventory will give you the highest power increase for your total power not your character this one here you get from d daily login he's just a strong pet all around like dealing damage so I use him um, but if I wanted to have an increase in power I'd probably get another one of these guys just because you'll probably get an increase in power by like another hundred in my total power 
um, here. So yeah, um, there are better pets to get in game. However, they are very expensive, um, which would be none of them. Let me go to collection. They're epic and legendary pets. These are the ones that you ideally want to go for. They give you the most power. They're the most expensive. They do the most damage. They're just the best all round. So make sure you have at least four pets in your inventory. Uh, make sure to buy this one if you can. And you can use this one if you really wanted to. Um, and you'll get power as long as you have four skills here. If you get an epic or legendary pet, that's when I'll start recommending to use these currency here. To then use these books here to get even more power. But yeah, that's it for pets. Now lastly, what I'll talk about briefly just to gain a few more bits of power. Um, is your mount. Now when you go to mount and click develop, you will have this orb here. You will be able to use power cords to level it up. Every time you level up this cord, um, you will get points here which you can then use um, into these four categories here. So because my character is an attacker, um, well, specifically dealing damage, I put all of mine in attack. If you're someone that focuses on sealing or healing or even tankiness, put it in your corresponding one. So if you're an alphabet, I would put this in ceiling as much as you can. If you're a healer, all in healing, maybe some in defense, but majority in healing. And if you're literally a tank class, all in defense. That's what I would do. Now these here, I won't really go into too much detail in this video, um, but these are basically additional effects on your skills. I'll go through how to get them, but if you click on them, it will tell you down here um, how to get them. But I won't go into too much detail on those. Now, as I said before, um, a lot of this power stuff, there's a lot more to go into. However, I don't want to go into all of it in one video um, because there is so much to go through. It's actually crazy. Um, but what I will show you is a little thing that I do um, daily to increase my power. Now, this won't work for everyone. This will work mainly for people that have spent money in the game. But if you are free to play, you can obviously jot some of this down and hopefully it might help. If you go to store, shop, and yep, you go to purchase here, and points as well, but mainly purchase. To level up your gems, I would buy some here. Only a few, I wouldn't spend 17 million like I did. Crafting, these are for your making new gear, which again, I wouldn't really do after level 60. Um, Magic Beast. You can buy XP here, but I, again, don't even do that. It doesn't even give you anything here at all. And this is so expensive. One million for this. That's crazy. Um, now, formations, I would recommend to focus on one formation at first and buy that formation um, daily, which costs a million. Um, if you level up your formations, you'll get 25 power each time. I'm pretty sure when you buy formations for the starting off time, you get 100 power. Even if you're not using the formation, you'll get power by using for um, buying them. So I'd recommend to buy one every day. If you go to mount, you can buy power cords. You can buy a hundred of these a day, which I do every day. Um, it costs about five million just to get all of them though, so it's quite expensive. Um, training skill, I would recommend to buy these daily. Again, it costs about four million to get ten of these each. So two million for the top one, two million for the bottom one. And then Arcane Dust, I haven't really done anything with this yet at all, so I'm not too sure what this does. I think this is a bit more end game. I do have artifacts, but I just haven't used this yet. So I would recommend to focus on training, mount, formation. So overall, I'm spending like 10 million a day. It's crazy. <laughs> 10 million a day, just on these three here. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything in terms of power. Now, if you're interested in playing this game, it is actually quite fun. Um, it is very auto grindy, if that makes sense. Um, however, you do have to come off auto quite a lot on a lot more harder missions, as well as PvP. Um, I will do some videos as well on like Guild Wars and stuff, because it should be quite interesting to see some PvP. We did have a really good fight today in like a, a 5v5 uh, mode. It was pretty much like the top 10 players against each other. Um, and it was a really close fun match, but unfortunately I wasn't recording So I'll try and get a few more of those videos as well as for Master of the Dead I'll definitely be uploading more of that as well But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't too interesting, but hopefully you learned something that could kind of guide you um, In the future of the game and if you have any questions then drop them in the comments and I can uh, 
make sure to let you know if I have any information. So hopefully you enjoyed, take care and peace out.